In this video we're going to be rounding numbers to a certain amount of decimal places. So to start with we're going to be rounding to one decimal place. So the first thing you want to do is find out where the first decimal place is, which is also known as the tenths column. So after the tenths column or after the first decimal place, however you want to mark it, that's where our rounding is going to happen. We look at the digit afterwards to decide whether or not that tenths column stays the same or goes up one. In this case, because that's a 6, this 0.4 is going to become a 0.5, and then we fill in the rest of our number to give us 3.5. For the second one, a rounding is going to happen after the 2 tenths. I'll actually do the last one as well, 9 tenths, like so. The digit after that is then going to make the one either before either stay the same or go up one, so this 0 won't change the 2, so 5.2 is the answer for that one. Whereas the 5 will turn this into a 10, so it'll be a 0 point, and then we're going to have this 4 turn into a 5, so 5.0. Important to note that we have to put 5.0 as our answer because it says to one decimal place. Even though 5 and 5.0 are the same thing when it comes to rounding, this tells you that you've rounded it to one decimal place, whereas this number doesn't tell you that you've rounded it. In fact, it looks like it's been rounded to the nearest whole number. Okay? Next, we're going to be rounding to two decimal places. So in other words, the hundredths column. So the hundredths columns are here, here, and here. So we look at the digit after that and see whether or not that hundredths column is going to stay the same or go up. In the first one, that 4 will not change the 6. So I can just fill in the rest of that number there to give us 0 0.36 as the answer. That 7 will change this 8 to a 9, and then we fill in the rest of the number to give us 0 0.09. And then lastly, this 5 will turn this 9 into a 10, which turns that 9 into a 10, which means we're going to end up with 1.00. Again, we have to make sure that we leave our answer with two decimal places, because that's what the question wants. Next, with three decimal places. That means that we're interested in rounding up to the thousands column. So that would be here, here, and here. Look at the digit afterwards. Is the one before it going to stay the same or go up one? So this first one, that 4, will not change the 2. So we just fill in the rest of our number. So it's 5.032. This one, that 6, will go up 1 to become a 7. Remember, and we need to put in the rest of that number, so 0 0.007. And then lastly here, that 8 will turn that 9 into a 10, which will make this 3 hundredths turn into 4 hundredths. So we'll end up with what will look like 40 if you just focus on the 39 bit there. And then we're left with 1. 0.2 beforehand. And again, we have to have our answer at three decimal places because that's what the question says. Done.